Hello, my beautiful friend. Welcome back to another video. So today, I don't know why I got you staring at paintbrushes. <laughs> today, I'm going to show you how to make your own custom placemats for your table. Now, it's important to say you can do any design that you want. You could take paint and a brush and uh, just paint a design on and put a nice finish on it. Or you can do something like what I'm going to do, a little uh, alcohol ink work. I'm pretty sure, but I have not tested this, so I'm not going to say for sure. I know you can do a resin pour on them, but acrylic pouring, if there's not a lot of water in your paints, you may be able to get away with that. And here's why. These are hard placemats. I'm going to put a link in the description for them to where you can buy them. And on the back, not that you can see them because they're all taped up. They actually have, well here, you can see a little bit of it. They have a really nice cork back to them. So what I did was I took some regular masking tape. I taped them on the edge and then I took aluminum foil tape because it has a really strong bond and I do not want anything seeping onto my pretty cork back. So I put a layer of that around, took them outside and then just sprayed them because they were an ugly color, sprayed them all white. Important, if you want to use alcohol inks to do this, use a gloss spray paint so the alcohol inks will glide around on the surface. So let me explain to you what I'm going to be doing today and what you're going to need to be able to replicate this. First of all, I saw this particular design on another channel that I want to give a shout out to. The channel name is RK3 Designs. Her name is Rhonda. She is a sweet southern peach. Let me tell you something. If you're into resin or countertops, things like that, make sure you watch her channel. Anyway, Awesome, awesome person, really. I, I met her in Mexico. Amazing woman. She did this design on her countertop with the help of Erica from Artist to Death and Miss Clara Lawrence, another fantastic artist that is on YouTube. I'm going to link all of their channels in the description. So they did this particular design on Rhonda's countertop and it was absolutely stunning. So I'm not doing my countertops, but I'm going to do placemats. Now, the cool thing about using alcohol inks, seriously, this is no lie. You can take one color and make it turn into four or five different colors just by playing with a little bit of alcohol uh, and the alcohol ink. So I can literally, if I wanted an all blue placemat, do this entire design with one color. Uh, however, I'm going to do a, a tan and a teal theme. So I'm going to be using two. But like I said, you don't have to have every color of alcohol ink there is to do this. That's why this type of art is really nice. It's not expensive. You know, you get yourself a bottle of isopropyl alcohol and have a blast. So, and I'll t talk you through a lot of that when I'm doing this. So I'm gonna be, be making a total of four placemats. I'm only going to do one with you though because the other three are going to be identical. Um, you're gonna need some alcohol, inks, some 91% alcohol, like I said, sh just showed you. Uh, you're going to need, now this is not mandatory, but you're going to want some glitter. Uh, I've chosen a few here. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use, but these are from Enchanting Fine Art, and she has some amazingly beautiful glitters, and she also has, I want to show you this, for those that like to make beach scenes, she actually has colored sands. They are gorgeous. And look at this. I'm going to be making a nice piece of seashell art with that. Look at those. So yeah, the link is in the, the description if you 
are looking for a co um, coaster, a <laughs> glitter place. So anyway, I'm going to incorporate a little bit of glitter. And then when I'm done, I'm going to personally resin them. But you can also do varnish if you want. Now, if you're going to put them on your table and actually put plates on them, I wouldn't suggest varnish. But if you just want to put them on your table as a decoration, varnish would be fine. Uh, I'm going to use a, a resin that has a very high heat tolerance. I'm not going to be putting dishes on them. I'm going to be using them as a decoration, but I still want to finish them in resin. So these colors really pop. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get a cup and you need to put a little bit of your alcohol in it to be able to clean your paint brushes. Not much. And this is very simple. I'm going to freestyle this, freehand it. Um, I'm going with like a geode pattern. So I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to dip it in my alcohol. And then I'm just literally going to make a shape of like an agate slice. I'm then going to come in with my alcohol ink. I'm going to put it directly onto my brush. And I'm going to trace that clear pattern I just put down. Okay. Just like that. Now I want you to watch something. I'm going to put a little more of this blue on here. And I'm just going to play with this one area for a minute. If you go over this with some more alcohol, it'll get lighter in areas. This is the fun thing. See, I'm dipping my brush in the alcohol. This is the fun thing about alcohol inks. You can fade them out. You can very easily blend the lines. And if you don't like your design, you can literally take a rag with rubbing alcohol and just wipe it right away and start over. You can erase areas. You see how this is altering, right? Just by me going over it a few times. And these are an excellent medium for doing something like a geode slash agate style. So now I've gone ahead and played around with my blue and I can keep changing it. The more I add in alcohol, the more it's going to change. It'll get lighter in areas. See that? I have about three different shades already of that one color. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add in a little bit of my browns. So this one is called Caramel. And I'm going to use one brush for the blue and one brush for the brown. Even though you can get some really cool colors just using the same brush. Alcohol inks are virtually... Well, I won't say impossible. It's very hard to muddy up alcohol inks. So now here's my brush. I'm going to put some brown or caramel on there. And then I'm just going to start blending them together or painting this on by itself. You're going to see how nice this turns out. So my... my plan is to make a bunch of these all over these placemats. Then I'm going to come in with a little bit of glitter and bling it up in some areas. Use my Posca marker to create maybe some more lines and just have some fun with it. So now if I take this brush and go up into the blue with it, with the brown on, I'm going to blend those two together nicely. I'm going to get a nice shade of olive green. And 
And now I've just introduced another color into my palette. Again, just with those two inks. Okay? And I could rinse off my brush and go in there and soften it a little bit. Look at that. And again, you don't have to use or do a geode style mat. You could do a wave, an ocean, uh, flowers. A lot of people do roses. Now I'm going to take this same brush and go up here. And see how I got a nice shade of green now? To blend into that. And I'm essentially dragging in some of that blue into this lighter area. Just like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm gonna put you on time-lapse now. I'm gonna make a bunch of these and then we'll move on to the next step. So I decided to do a little experiment, well not an experiment, an example of how easy it is to change the outcome of what you're painting when you're using alcohol inks. So I decided to, to take the inks and kind of just brush them on randomly just to give you an example here of again how easy it is to change so that's what you're seeing me do right here i'm just kind of brushing them in the wrong direction making it look funny for you and then you're going to see i'm going to come in and i'm going to change that entire middle section to look like the center of a geode so now watch this we'll paint right over it with the blue and it is changed that easy. That's why I love these. They are so fun. And like I said, it doesn't have to be a geode that you do. Make, your, make yourself a beautiful ocean scene or a landscape, you know, or some beautiful green grass with some flowers. I will tell you, though, it's very easy to keep manipulating these because it feels like you know, there's so many possibilities. Do I like it this way? No, maybe I'll just add a little more color here. And before you know it, the look of whatever you're painting is totally changed. So here I'm just taking a little bit of the brown and dabbing it with the tip of the brush in the center to make that little slit. This is going to be where I end up putting a majority of the glitter just in that, that center there. So you can create your images one at a time for a style like this, or you can take the quicker route and put down one color as you're seeing me do now, and then come back in with the blue and just kind of keep manipulating it back and forth. Um, I found this way a little quicker to just put down a big area of color and then, like I said, come back in with another color. So... I'm going to finish up here showing you this and then we are going to move on to the next step. One thing I want to say, even though it looks a little childish and just crazy looking right now, stay to the end. It's a really pretty piece. Okay, so before I let it dry, I want to take a skewer. I want to dip it in my alcohol. I want to tap it once on the paper. And then I want to do this. I want to make some little circular shapes. Sometimes in geode, you will see um, a little round circle pattern to the rock. So that's what I'm going to do here. Not many, just a few here and there. And it adds a little interest to the piece. So... We're going to do that. So once these are dry, 
about a half hour. I am going to come back in with a Posca marker, a gold marker, make some lines, maybe add a little bit of glitter, and then we will resin it. And it's that simple. This is, I cannot tell you how relaxing this is to just sit here with that paintbrush and keep moving them and moving them around. Now see how over here I have this growing out. Now a rock is not shaped perfectly on the edge so I could just leave it like that or I can come here and just kind of manipulate it okay to get it back into line there. This is the kind of placemat you would find at like a home goods store or a Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshall, place like that. It's a really unique kind of bold statement for your table. So this is a rose gold leafing pen from Krylon. You can get that at Hobby Lobby or on Amazon. And I'm just a few random lines, that's all just to have a bit of a chrome effect in areas. All right, next step is I'm going to take some glitter I have mixed up here called Angel's Halo. Again, from Enchanting Fine Art, I will show it to you quick. I'm going to put this down just in the center of them, of each geode, so it has just a little bit of sparkle. I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'm going to go and spray two coats of a matte UV protectant on it. And I will show you that can in a second. Why do you want matte? Matte needs to uh, be used because the gloss has alcohol in it and it will reactivate the alcohol inks. Now, the reason I was able to use a gloss spray paint on the surface here and it's not bothering it is because I sprayed it with the gloss, it dried, and then I did the alcohol inks over it. I'm going to take a spray sealant and spray it over these alcohol inks. It will definitely react those if it is a gloss, so you wanna get matte. And you need that to protect the colors. Uh, alcohol inks are not light fast, they fade, so you have to protect them with something, and there's a few different brands you can get I'll show you that in a second. So I'm just going to take this and kind of very lightly, I don't want big chunky glitter or anything like that, just a little bit of sparkle. These do not need to be outrageously sparkly to sit on a table. I mean, if you want to, you can, but I just want a little tiny bit. That's all. Just right in the centers. It's very hard for me to stick to my word when I say I'm just going to use a little bit of glitter in the center. <laughs> so did not happen. So what I did was I put it in the center and then I just like a little tiny bit on the edges, not all the way around, just little areas on the edges and a few spots on the innards there. Here's the brand I use, Krylon. Clearance $2.99. So it's the matte. But like I said, they have different brands too. You just want a matte sealant uh, varnish UV protect with UV protection in it. Okay, so glitter is dry. The spray sealer that I put on the UV varnish, that's dry. So now I've got my KS resin that I've mixed up. I'm using the Liquid Art Elite Epoxy, which by the way, if you need resin, Go in the description, click on the link. It is on sale for 30% off today. So head on over there. Today's the good day to get it. And usually the Elite is the one they put on sale. And this is the best of the best that they have. 
So today is the day you want to get it. Just go, like I said, there's a link in the description. The only thing is, is that you won't be able to use the discount code, I don't think. You can try, but usually when they put it on sale, they don't let you use both. But anyway, it's 30% off. That's awesome. I got myself uh, four gallons today because I use it all the time, obviously. So here it is all mixed up, ready to go. And we're going to just dump it on and our placemats are going to be done. So I'm going to dump it right in the center and then I'll tilt it around or spread it with the stick or my hand, whichever is on my mind at the time I do it, I guess. <laughs> I love those colors. Love, love, love them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, reminder, if you're living in Dallas, and I know some of you watch me every video, and I apologize for repeating a lot of stuff, but I have new viewers every day, so that's why I do it. But anyway, Dallas, Texas, August 6th, I will be there teaching a full day class, just me. So if you're interested in learning, come on down, y'all. See, I'm already practicing my Texas girl slang. <laughs> you know, us Northeaster Easterners feel funny saying y'all. But now I'm going to be saying it. If only for a week. <laughs> okay, so there, it's nice and coated. Okay, look how pretty that is. I can't wait to give you a close-up so you can see all the sparkling bits. So as I was saying, in the description is the links for everything. <laughs> Products, all that jive. So now what I usually do is I'll wait a couple of minutes, like three to five minutes, and then I'll come back and torch again. I'll look at the surface, see if there's any hair in it, and then I'll put it to rest for 24 hours. But let me give you a close-up of this. I just think they're so cute. So I'll show it to you like this first, just so you can see the true colors. And uh, again, some there's some uh, glitter in there and... I ended up using a color called Mineral, I believe. Yeah. It is a pearl alcohol ink from Ranger. And you'll see a little bit of that in there too. And what's really cool is when I blended with the brush, the mineral color blended with some of the blue and made like a metallic green. So here I'll show you. See, just a little bit of glitter in just some areas. A little sparkle. But see how that looks metallic there? That's pretty cool. Same over here. It's very abstracty. Look at that glitter. Boy, does that sparkle. So there you have it, how to make your own placemats. You just do it like you just saw right here, times four. <laughs> I have three other ones. I'll just coat with resin now, but they're all the same pretty much. I love you all. Thank you so very much for watching me. Happy Memorial Day to those that celebrate here in the United States. And until the next time, happy pouring.